all right so this is gonna be a quick video on how to update data in Django and more specifically the data that we saved in the stock inventory management system okay so if you're interested in videos like this you can subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified anytime we post a video we do post videos regularly every Tuesday and Friday so it is important for you to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime we post a video so a friend is doing a networking tutorial videos on youtube so if you're interested in anything networking cisco in uh, um, networking in general there will be a link in the description below the channel name is sa networking tutorial please click on the channel and then subscribe to his channel and show him some support all right so let's get back to our today's topic so we have four simple steps so the first step is to create a form that will be used to update the data so i'm going to switch to the text editor all right, so we're going to open forms of py and create a form right here so i'm going to copy the code from here and paste it as the stock update form so notice that it is having category item name and the quantity as the fields so i'm going to move to the next step that is the view that will be handling the update request so copy this on step number two in open views the py okay so scroll down and paste it right there all right so notice that this is the update items view okay it's going to take our regular request and an additional argument and that will be the id of the item that we want to update we're going to filter the objects that we have in the stock with the id that is passed into this view okay so once we get that item or the object we're gonna assign it to the query set variable all right so then we're gonna use the form and then display the information of the query set or of the object that is assigned to this query set inside the form okay and we're gonna assign that to a variable form so now once we did a post if request the method equals equals post that is if we update the data and we click on save we're gonna save the new information in the database all right so that will replace whatever was in there before okay then we can do a redirect to another page so in this case we are redirecting to the list item page okay so i'm going to use the same template that i used for the add items so with that it will not be necessary to create another template okay since we're gonna have exactly the same template all right so i could also use the same form that i used in add items but so in the add items form there's this validation that's gonna check if we have an item that is already in the database and that will stop us from inputting data in the database if the item has the same category okay or the same item name depending on where you put that validation okay so I will show you in another video how to avoid that from happening. We can still do some form validation that will check if the item already exists. And it will also exempt the current item that we are editing. Okay, but that will be for another video. All right. So because of that, I'm creating another form. All right. So I'm going to do another video to show you how to validate the data. Okay. So but I want this video to be as short as possible. So that I just focus on how to update data. So moving back to the view. Okay. So we have the view created the update items view so i'm gonna save it and move to the next step which is to create the url okay so i'm gonna copy this url and then paste it in urls.py okay so i'm gonna paste it just below the add items so our path will be like this the local host slash update item slash the id of the item that we want to update okay so i'm gonna test that i'm gonna save this and then move to the application i'm gonna do localhost okay so i'm gonna look for one item so i believe uh this will be item number one uh let's test that i'm gonna do slash update that is the that is the url right here I'm gonna have update item slash the ID. So if I do update item slash ID number one, 
okay so we have stock matching query does not exist so we're trying to update an object that does not exist so i'm gonna try it number two id number two all right so we have another error right there name stock update form is not defined all right so this is another error so because we don't import this data in the view that's why we have the error okay so we can see that error right there the line number but um if you head back to views and then import the form right there okay so i'm gonna save it and then do a refresh all right so you can see we are presented with a form with the details of the item with id number two if i do id number three all right you can see with the item name has changed to keyboard okay i'm gonna do id number four all right so that is a desk from here i can just update the data like it was five i can make it now 60 and then click save all right you can see that it has saved the decks right here is saved to 60 okay so this is how to update the data in the model but to make it easy for users you have to have a link right here on any of these items for example i want to click on the chair right there and it will take me to that item and will allow me to update that specific item okay so i want to be able to click on the item name and the system should know that this is the item that we clicked it will take us to the update form and then display the item chair in the form so that we can update it and then click save all right instead of going all the way up on the url to update the item so this is the next step which is to create an anchor and that anchor will have a url so i'm gonna just copy the url part okay and you can copy the entire line and replace uh your td right there so i'm gonna go to the template and the template is the list item page all right so this is what i want to be able to click the chair right there i want to be able to click the item name and it should be able to give me the form to update that item so in the list item template so right there i want to be able to click the item name so i'm gonna wrap it with an anchor i'm gonna paste that so the code is like this we're gonna have the url right here and we're gonna have the name of the url so this is where this thing comes in handy right there the name here is what we are calling in here okay so the update items then the instance.id so since we have a variable for instance in query set so this instance dot id of that specific object in that query set is what we are defining right there okay so if we are on object number one and the id is one then we will have the id the instance dot id as one okay so if we are on number two then the id will be number two which will be very dynamic okay so then uh and if you have any other variable like say if you have stock right here okay so this will be stock.category stock.id then you have stock.quantity all right this is how these pieces fit together so we're gonna close the anchor tag right before the closing of the td i'm gonna do slash a and anchor tag save it okay so i'm gonna uh set this back to the instance click save so i'm gonna go and refresh the list item page right so you can see all this change to uh, a clickable links so just look on the left side of the screen right there okay so if i hover on the item you can see this one is id number four right you have update slash four if i hover on the mouse you have id number two right there and if i hover on the hard disk you have id number seven so you can see how dynamic that looks so if i click on the chair again it will take me to that form and i can update it to any number i can give it uh 25 and then click save and that will update it and redirect us back to the list of item page all right so this is how to update data in django and i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please click on the like button if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe it really helps out the channel and see you in the next one